Go! Get away! Shoot! Wait! Don't be afraid! Hold still! There! On behalf of all Perglins everywhere, I would like to thank you, Giant, for saving the life of Fairmont. Oh, that's all right! Oh, sorry! Ooh, I mean, uh, okay. You seem to be a kinder, gentler giant, not like some giants we know. I wonder if you could help us with a problem. But of course. You need some logs moved, uh, rocks realigned, villages trampled. Much worse. We recently captured another giant, but very different from you. This one will not cooperate at all. What can I do? Perhaps if you talked with it. Well, okay. But are you sure I'll be safe? Follow me. You're Lena, aren't you? I just came from your homeland. Uh, I met your mother and father. You did? Escarpa? My parents? Oh, how I wish I had listened to them. I wouldn't be in this mess. They told me to give you this. What is this? Some sort of cruel joke? Is this trinket supposed to fool me? What are the Perkolins trying to pull? And to think for a moment there, I started to trust you. What? No! I mean, Queen Di said to give it to you. Ha! Huh. Like I'm going to believe that. You could have found this bauble anywhere. Oh, look! That is my dear sweet father. And I. Oh, how I miss them. Maybe you are from Escarpa, but you're so tall. Who are you, anyway? My name is Torin, but I'm not from Escarpa. I'm from the lands above. Torin of the lands above. Do you promise not to harm me? I swear. At present, I can think of nothing worse. All right, then. Quick, cut me loose. Well, um, hmm. Hurry, before they stop you. Yeah, uh, I can't. I I'll have to try to break each little thread, I suppose. Why? Use your knife. Well, that's just it. I didn't bring a knife. Some hero I am. Well, hold still. Here goes. Then, I'll tell you a little secret. All this time, I've had a knife hidden in my boot, but they tied me up before I regained consciousness. Now, hold still. I wouldn't want to cut you. Oh, thank you, Torin. That was horrible. Here, here's your locket. <laughs> oh, Boogle. Here, 
Let me help you up. Oh, wait. Look at your arms. You're bleeding. What? Oh, uh, I'm okay. I dropped a long ways through the trees before I landed on this soft loam. I must have, uh, you know, caught some branches on the way down. It's nothing. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet, but I never dared dream we really would. Everyone else was so short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too tall, too thin, hair only on top. But with you, I feel, I don't know, somehow normal. Oh, I think you're anything but normal. What? Torin? Huh? No, no, what I meant was it. You're far above normal. You're. you're beautiful. Wonderful. Perfect. Oh, Torin. But my parents must be worried sick. Well, yeah, they are. They really want you to return home. And my parents, they're still in danger. I must I go must back. go on. You're, you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but. Will I see you again? You must. Excuse me, you two. Will you be staying for dinner? If so, I'd better send out several hunting parties. No, we've got to leave immediately. We have to begin our search for a phenocryst. Oh, no need. I know right where one is, but it's pretty far away. What? I can't believe it. Does it work? Well, it might. You see, it hasn't been used in some time. Somehow, I could have guessed that. Let's go, Lena. Attention, everyone! This is Torin and his friend Lena. Please give him your attention. They're all yours. But what do I do? Well, that's the problem. No one knows. The Phenocrist hasn't been used in generations. Legend has it that when the Ostiaries find perfect harmony, the worlds will open unto them. But even when wearing these ancient sacred robes, they cannot find the way themselves. Can you help them? Oh, boy. Okay, uh, you step into the center. 